guys, Jessica here with your Parallax Project of the Week. Today we're going to cover a really cool application called Pingdar. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to turn your Bobot into a mini radar. And the best part is, is that we're only going to require a few parts to get this done. We're going to need, of course for starters, your Bobot robot, the ping mounting bracket that comes with a standard servo so we can rotate the bracket around, and of course, the ping ultrasonic sensor. Let's get started. So here's the final result of our ping dar in action. The ping bracket is rotating and you can see the radar-esque display in the debug terminal. Let's take a minute and run through the basics of building your very own ping dar. Before we get started, however, it's probably a good idea to find out where all source code and project documentation reside. Go to forums.parallax.com, go to stamps and class, stamps and class mini projects, and scroll down until you see Pingdar. You will find full project documentation as well as all source code. It will tell you everything you need to know about the background of this project, how the math behind everything works. It will tell you everything from how the ping gets its measurements to how the servo rotates with the pulse out command, as well as links to sources with more information on how all of the sensors work. So the first step is to mount the bracket and servo onto your bobot. There should be product documentation and assembly instructions that came with your mounting bracket kit, but in case it, did it, it didn't, it's also available for download from the Parallax website. Let's take a look. In this case, we're going to want to download ping mounting bracket documentation, version 2.0. They start out with a picture of everything assembled. It goes through all of the parts that were included in your kit, any tools that are required, and then the assembly instructions. Stopping at step one here, it tells you to enlarge two holes on the standard servo using either a drill or an exacto knife. These tools will get the done, job done quicker and cleaner, but if you don't have them available to you, it is also possible to use the screwdriver that's included in the Bobot kit. It's a little bit more labor intensive and you're gonna have to be extra careful not to apply too much pressure and break one of the servo horns, but it can also get the job done. The rest of the steps are pretty straightforward, so go through and follow them as they're printed. However, when you get to step six, and it tells you to mount the bracket, skip this step and move on to step seven and eight. In order to save us some time and hassle later, we can go ahead and run the first test program and then mount the bracket. So the reason we want to run the first test program before we finish mounting the bracket is simple. It's going to save us a lot of time and trouble later. Basically what the first test program is going to do is it's going to center the servo shaft. And later on what we're going to want to make sure of is that the center position of the servo actually centers the bracket. So instead of centering the servo, finding out the bracket isn't center, and then unmounting it and remounting it, we can just center the servo in the beginning, mount the bracket, and save a lot of time. Before you run the first test program, however, make sure that your servo is mounted to your Bobot and is connected to pin 14. Then, once this is done, you can run ping servo center and it's going to center the sh servo shaft. Once that is done, you can mount your ping bracket, make sure to line up the teeth, and make sure it's directly in the center. And then you can finish mounting the rest of the ping bracket and move on to the second test program. Now that we have the servo and bracket centered and everything mounted onto our Bobot, we're ready to run the second test program. What this program is going to do is it's going to ensure that the bracket rotates a full 180 degrees. This is going to make sure that we get a good sweep when we're running our radar. So if you run test ping direction, it rotates the servo first to 0 degrees, then to 180, and then back to 90, which is the center. Now the values that are in this default program might not rotate your servo all the way, or it might rotate it too far. For more information on changing these values to fit your Bobot, see the product documentation. So now that we've assembled the bracket and ran a couple test programs, we're ready for the fun stuff, the actual program. Now keep in mind the important part of this program is for you to understand what your Bobot is seeing. So you may want to run this program in a more open area. Keep in mind also that this program has a 100 centimeter range, so anything within that 100 centimeter range will be picked up by the Bobot. 
in order for the demo here. I rolled up two eight and a half by eleven pieces of printer paper to use an example. As an example, they're nice and big, so we know that the ping will pick them up. I'll put them in places that I'll generally be able to recognize once the ping dart is running, and we're ready to run the program. So what we're looking at here is the full ping dart program being run, and the results being printed on the debug terminal. This X here don't denotes the Bobot's current position. It starts all the way at zero degrees, starts at sweep, continues all the way to 180, comes back, and then starts all over again. These right here are the two cylindrical targets, if you will, that we set up, and everything else out here is just extra noise that the Bobot picked up that was within its 100 centimeter range. So basically what's happening is that the ping ultrasonic sensor is taking distance measurements and those distances are being scaled down into a way that can be presented in the debug terminal. And that's it. Remember, for full project documentation and source code, go to www.parallax.com and click the Project of the Week banner. Or you can go directly to the Stamps in Class Mini Projects page on forums.parallax.com. Happy developing!